guys, welcome back to my channel. Today um, I'm going to be showing you that you don't need to stretch your watercolour paper before you paint on it and this is a really easy, cheap hack to get crisp um, finished paintings that you don't need to stretch and you don't need to take a lot of time over before you paint them to get them um, perfectly straight and no warping, no bubbling no um, bending and as you can see here I have a finished watercolour painting and you know so as you're painting them they stretch they warp and they go all wobbly which is not what you want if you want to send them off to somebody or frame them because it's going to distort the picture uh, I will show you how to uh, get this done without the need for stretching. I've never stretched um, my watercolour paintings. I've never needed to stretch them. Um, I've always just left them because I haven't needed to ever frame them. But um, recently I've been needing to sort this out. And I looked on YouTube and I found this video and I thought it was really useful. So I thought I'd just make my own and show you how simple it really is. So today, what you need is a wobbly painting and we definitely have one here. I did try this out beforehand with an even more severe case than this and it worked perfectly and I was so happy with this because it saves, it's going to save me so much time because so I was looking up thinking that I needed to stretch my watercolour paper and I needed to do all this stuff and tape it down to the board and do all this crazy stuff when in reality even if you do do that it's still, it can still warp and you still have to press them and do all this silly stuff that you don't need to do. So, today uh, you need this, you need one uh, painting or whatever, this works on any kind of paper, thick, thin, whatever, it works. So, uh, yeah, get yourself your crumpled, messed up painting or picture or whatever. Get that ready. You'll also need an iron, and I have one here. Um, we will be doing it with the water inside because you need some um, some sort of steam and heat so make sure it has some water in it uh, heat it up hold on actually I'll tell you what else you need um, and you also need something you can either use an old t-shirt um, cloth whatever but you need I'm, at the moment I'm using a old um, pillowcase which is pretty good you just need something that you can um, slip the paper uh, or the painting inside and so that you have a um, protective piece that's protecting your table and also stopping the stuff transferring on. Uh, so yeah, you need that's all you need. Oh, and a big heavy book at the end, but that's all you need. Okay, so this is how we do this. Um, you take your um, painting and you will put it inside inside the um, uh, pillowcase face down you don't want it facing up because the heat may ruin this and you don't want that so if you put it face down if you're really scared that something is going to transfer you can also you know put a piece of um, paper or greaseproof paper or whatever underneath as well so I'm just going to pop this in Like so. Now make sure that your surface is flat. You don't want anything um, underneath it. Make sure it's clean. Um, so yeah, there you can see the um, the painting inside. Then you want to get your um, heated up iron right now. And I haven't heated this up yet, but I will. And you want to um, just go over, make sure you're pressing it down really hard, getting all over the um, surface of the painting. Focus especially on the corners and wherever. And I'll do that now just to show you how I do it. So now um, you want to make sure that your uh, iron is on cotton. 
yeah, you need it needs to be on cotton because paper does have cotton fibers that's what it's made out of. So you need to make sure it's on that setting. Uh, it's heated up now, so I'm gonna go and press down on the paper. You will notice straight away that it is changing and that's what you want. Make sure you do this on something on a material that is cotton based. You don't want to do this on synthetic material um, because it will stick and it will burn onto your painting and that is definitely a no-no that you do not want to do. So make sure you are using something that is um, relatively natural material. A t-shirt would be perfect for this. If you do have any really tricky spots, you can use the um, steam function. Just do it very, very lightly like that. You can see. You do not want to get this um, wet. You don't make sure that you do not have a drippy, um, uh, drippy iron. You do not want that because you don't want to take the risk. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done here. It's as smooth as I'm gonna get it. Um, so that's when you need to get your other tool. Whilst it's still hot, get yourself a big book. I have this massive book here. Um, so just plop it straight on and leave that to dry. Well, not dry because it's not wet, but leave it to cool down. And, um, and then I'll show you the finished result and it should be perfect. So stay tuned. Um, okay guys, so I've just left this um, sitting and pressing with this big massive book and I've done this for a few hours just till it's cooled down. So I'll just show you the results. So, we have a pretty straight um, picture, it's a lot straighter than it was before, um, so yeah, it's not too bad, um, I think it's pretty much as good as we're going to get it, I mean, it's a lot better, it's, it's, it's perfect for mounting really, and it lies flat and it's fine. So this is kind of um, just sort of the lazy, lazy art person hack really for um, unwarping or stopping buckling from happening on your paintings. So let me know if you try this and it worked for you. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.